revolution and what it means for you. Everybody, I'm Steve Reinhars, CEO, CTO, and founder of Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions. This is your weekly update. We're not gonna talk about the business today. We're gonna talk about revolution. We're gonna talk about what we've seen as a vision, how we're executing it, why that matters, and how my time at AWS reinvent, reinforce that and validated so much of what we've been working on, talking about over these past several years. This three days have been super exciting. It is Wednesday. I'm talking fast because I got to get back there, but so far I'll share with everybody, I got what I wanted. AWS has been great. Okay, let's start by talking about revolution in the context of business transformation. Now the word revolution gets thrown around a lot especially by businesses. But I'm gonna share with you a revolution that has been pretty notable and it's called the American Revolution. And what happened in that revolution? We had British rulers and we replaced them with our own rulers, with American rulers, right? The Russian Revolution, we had the Tsar and then we had, I think, an interim little revolution. Then we had another revolution that left, of course, the Bolsheviks, communists in power over there. What happened? There was a power structure the people that controlled the resources, taxation, how it was spent, how human resources were used, and it was replaced with new people with basically the same power, maybe a different philosophy. Same thing happens in business. The best example that I'll give you for now that you can relate to is the revolution that we went through when we used to use horse-drawn carriages and then we started using combustion engine automobiles. It's a revolution. That same revolution is happening right now. I've said it before, but I'm telling you more than ever, especially being with all these amazing IT companies, it's happening right now. The size and the scope of transformation is what, in my opinion, elevates it to revolution. And that's what's happening right now. I've talked about it, gave, just gave you some examples. Okay, so big question here is how is AITX positioned to be in the winning group after the revolution, right? Right now, without a doubt, we are revolutionaries. I use that term in, uh, internally. You may have heard me use that term in weekly videos or if you met me or whatever, right? But we consider ourselves revolutionaries. Now, what does that mean and how does that work to strengthen a position AITX? The first thing that puts us ahead of so many other people is knowing that we're revolutionaries in a revolution. We gotta know it not gonna have it happen to us, which is what'll happen to most everybody else. It has to, we have to know. So number one, we know. Number two, we have a vision. I communicate this vision all the time. I spend a lot of my day talking about the vision internally and externally. We all know that at some point in the near future, there will be intelligent edge-based devices performing human-like work. We wanna be part of that revolution and build and deliver those devices. The third thing that we have to do is actually work towards that vision. We've got to work towards the vision. There's a common statement that I use when I'm talking to people about being an entrepreneur and I talk about the fact how so many people are wannapreneurs and they're talking at the dinner table, oh, we should do this, let's have a meeting, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, blah, 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 blah. But the gap between being a wannapreneur and an entrepreneur is doing stuff. That's the gap. You fill the gap from talking you do stuff and you become an entrepreneur. We're doing stuff. You see it in our growing revenues. You see it in our products. You see it in what we uh, released on Wednesday in terms of Sarah. We have to work towards the vision. We have to think big. And that's why we continue to invest as much as we can. Although, I'll reinforce, we do appear to be on track for positive operational cash flow in the April-May time frame. Now, while we're doing stuff, we have to be brave to break stuff and to mess up, to make mistakes. That's how innovation goes when you have to operate at this speed and at this pace. So we're not scared about breaking stuff and making mistakes. It's part of the revolution. End of part one, intermission, part two. I'm at AWS reInvent this week in Las Vegas and I wanna share a message that I think is important for everybody. I snapped this photo of one of the slides during the keynote on Monday morning. The title behind it was simple, but the data behind it is an absolute wake-up call. 
jobs demanding AI skills are exploding. Not gradually, not linearly, but exponentially. And when I say AI fluency skills, I mean the skills used to manage and use AI. Those skills are growing almost seven times over the last two years. That's going to impact millions of people, and that's just in two years. I would say that it's going to continue to exponentially grow. You must know how to use and manage AI. AI is not something that just tech people have to learn anymore. Everybody has to learn how to use it. And look, I get it. It can be intimidating. Maybe it's scary. Maybe people don't quite understand it. It can be overwhelming. But there's also a ton of hope here. You don't need to become an AI engineer in order to stay relevant, but you do need to become AI fluent. This means knowing how to use AI tools, knowing how to manage them responsibly, knowing how to integrate them into your daily work for your own productivity improvements, and knowing which tasks should be deployed to AI when and how to review the results. This is the new literacy. This is the new baseline. And by baseline, I mean a level of skill required for employees to get basically any job. So don't sit this out. Don't wait. There's no time. Don't assume someone else will translate AI for you. Start learning, start experimenting, start playing with these tools. Get curious instead of being afraid. Because, as with everything, the opportunities will go to those who act, not the people that watch. I genuinely believe that AI can democratize opportunity for the people that act. So, I challenge you, make a commitment this week. Learn one new AI skill this week. You'll thank me for it. Thank you very much.